Hey everybody. Okay, so let's get this plan pooling project out on the way. So I went ahead and decided to use the Ombre Soft Secret because that's the one that worked in my other video, as you saw, for choosing the right kind of yarn. So what you do to start, just pull out your yarn, create a slip knot, and make a long chain. Um, the purpose of the chain is to gather what, how many stitches per color you're going to get. So it doesn't really matter what, what color you start your chain off with. Just make sure that you work through all your color sequences. So my color sequence is starting with green. And I know there's, there's a lot extra right here, but don't worry about that right now. So I have green, yellow, pink, purple, pink, yellow, green, and blue. And that's my entire sequence before it repeats. So when you get to the end, you're going to start working back through. And when you do get to the end, you want the last loop on your hook to be the beginning color of the next sequence. So when you chain back, both of the V's will be your new color. And so now we're going to work back through the entire chain just using a moderate tension. It doesn't have to be any kind of crazy tension. Just work back through until you re reach the end of your color sequence. So here we started with green and my color sequence ends with blue. So I'm going to single crochet back until I reach blue. Or if you're using a moss stitch, you can do your moss stitch and same thing. Just cycle back until you reach your the last color in your sequence. I'm going to pause the video and come back when we get there. Okay, hi. So I've reached the end of my sequence with the blue. And you've noticed that I, the beginning of the sequence starts with green. So I pulled up one green loop. That's where you want to do your stopping point, And you're going to count how many stitches in each color. So for me, I have about four stitches in each color. So I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it goes all the way down to blue. So that makes it easy, pretty much. You don't have to worry about um, how many stitches you're gonna have. So what you do after that is you're gonna head on over to the plantpooling.com website. And I have to put a shout out to um, Nastasia for her video on plan pooling too because it was really helpful um, and she mentioned the plan pooling website which I think is a great tool so shout out to her and say thank you um, let's get started okay so we're over here at planpooling.com and this is the page it shows up like this as generic First thing you want to do is go ahead and add some colors over here. And to change the color, you simply click in the box and then hover over the colors over here. And you can just kind of click wherever you would like something that matches. You can do bright and dark over here. It slides up and down. And once you finish adding all your colors, then you're going to go ahead and enter the stitch number for each color right here. So you just kind of highlight and enter. I had four stitches per color on my project, so I'm just going to play around with that. And you can see this is not an argyle print, so we're going to go ahead up here where it says one stitch longer and just keep clicking that until you see a pattern that you like. Um, I don't really see one yet. I mean, this is kind of Argyle, but it's not really what we want. So that one looks a little bit better. Um, but what you can do is also increase your stitch count by one or so and see if that might help. There's a lot of things you can play around to personalize this. So, but what you really want is to match your stitches and then come up with a stitch count that's going to create that pattern. So here is like a 69. So let's go back over 
This is the pattern that I created with the ombre yarn from Soft Secret. And I entered my stitches right here. And my perfect stitch count was 49. So once you have that all set and done, go ahead and take a screenshot or print it out. And then we can go move on to the next part of plan pooling. Okay, so I went ahead and input all my colors into the plan pooling website. And this is what I, the design I chose for my project. And you can see here that I have 49 stitches in my row. And these are all my colors. There's eight of them. And here I inserted the stitches in the color. So the previous video went over how to do that and how to work with this website. So here, this is the bottom row. So you're going to go ahead and flip it. So you can kind of see that's where you're starting down here. And you can just set this aside and use it as a guide. So here I have my the beginning that I started working and you know each there's four eight twelve sixteen this will be where you're going to add on till you reach the number of stitches in your row that the plan pooling website tells you you need keep in mind you can make this number anything you want if you want to make a pillow scarf um, there's other ways you can manipulate how long and how wide you want to have it so it's it gets a little more fun once you start getting into this and um, playing around with it. So just keep on crocheting until you have the number of stitches in your row that it says that you need. And then we'll come back. So go ahead and pause it now if you want. Okay, so I've completed mine I don't, and hopefully you've completed yours. So you can see as I work through my bottom, this bottom row of the sequence that I completed the the purple down here there's four stitches right there there's going to be one left over that's my 49th stitch so here I've completed the four stitches and then there's one in the in the pink so the next what you do from here you're just going to flip it and go straight into the first stitch no chaining and then start finishing your sequence. So I had one pink down there. I'm going to do three more up here. And here's where tension plays a big role. You want your tension to be four stitches and you want the V of these to be the same color. So each stitch, as long as this V is the same color, you're in good shape. If this loop is different, it's not that big of a deal. But ideally, you would like to pull up this new color of the next sequence into your, um, on your hook. So like, for instance, let's do this next one. So I've got yellow as the next stitch, and you can see both legs of the V are yellow. And here's where tension plays a role. So let's see if I can get four stitches in the yellow complete stitches. I did. So there's four complete, but you can see the this is the green pulled up here. It's these are very pale, 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 woohoo, pale color. So so here you'll see I have a little bit of green left right here. Can I get a stitch out of that? Probably not a whole one. So I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. And then you'll see I pull up the blue. And that's why tension is really important because from here on out on the second row and all the rest of them you want to make sure there I have a lot of blue left so I'm gonna pull it up a little bit so that when I do pull up the next one it's gonna be green and if you mess up just rip it back it's not a big deal of course crocheting is for fun and relaxation not to be stressed out about it but see here See, I have a little bit of green left. It's very light, but you can see it. And I think even if I tighten it a little bit, I'm not going to get a whole stitch out of that. Um, you can see, I mean, it is kind of like that, but I don't know. That one's debatable. 
but I think I'll keep it because I do have the yellow stitch pulled up so we can work back through some more. So there I have three yellows and I have I think just enough to make another single crochet and to be able to pull up the pink. Once you start doing this, you'll get the hang of it and it'll become kind of second nature. So there we go. So you can see this is the second row and if it doesn't match completely with these, it's okay. Just keep your four stitches or your whatever stitch count you have in each color and you should be good. But this can be used as a guide and it's helpful. All right, so I have completed this and it's really beautiful. I love it. The colors are um, very like pastel-y and I think I'm going to make a baby pillow for this one or a toddler pillow, something like that. Just that if the yarn's really soft. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and um, have fun looking for different types of yarn that you can use for plan pooling because um, I had a good time figuring out which ones I wanted to use. So um, if there's any tips or tricks you have, let me know in the comments. And if you have a yarn that you know of, um, please add it because I want to create a list of yarns that we can use for plan pooling and then just have like a master list and it'll be great. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day and happy crocheting. Please subscribe.